player and having fun <laughs> alongside Oscar. Exactly. Right. So yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll see how this shakes out. Okay, Eddie versus Svob. Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting big things from um you know, I mean, Ultra played pretty well uh, in in the Fox Luigi matchup, but uh yeah, to me Svob is just a he's on a whole nother level, so different uh different breed of Fox players for sure. Uh we'll see how many illusions happen in this set compared to the Dark Hero one. Uh, overall, head-to-head -head is fairly close between these two as well. Three and four in favor of SFOB. Um, mm -hmm. But they just played at, at Coinbox on Tuesday. That was a 3-0 for SFOB. Yeah, I mean, SFOB's like Jordans and mid-Jordans are just ridiculous. So hard edge guard. He's got so much faith in his side bees. All right. Lots of really oh, good up to oh, wow. Which means that uh, Eddie didn't even get his jump back. Well, he does get the uh, the jump back right there with the edge cats on the side platform. Mm -hmm. S-Pop oh. is, is kind of letting it rip for a little bit. I feel like you could have just done like charge up smash. Of course. <laughs> or way earlier in of that, course. but yeah, you but... know. All right, that's going to be Dead Fox. Yeah, down or from ledge. Luigi's got a really good ledge hop. Uh... Edge guard on Fox in general, like if you can get those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh no, missed ledge dash from Eddie. But uh, you know, 125%. So that stock might have been on its way out anyway. Ooh, S Fop maybe want to cross up right there, but Eddie taking this one to the bank now. Yeah, and Rao trying to reaction tech chase with down B is pretty bonkers. Up throw down air. Oh, Nair, huh? Action, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, a little surprised by Nair. I gotta say. All right. Loving the pressure from Svob. Yeah, great timing. Oh Focus no, he's arrow. doing the the Mario Bro thing where you just throw out moves until someone runs into it. Yeah, they haven't really hasn't really been working out though. He's taking a lot of damage going for it. Uh oh, there's that four tilt. Wow. Crazy mid shorten in the ledge dash turnaround up smash. I feel yeah, yeah you got like, you got to know S Hop has those though. Yeah, he's like so technical that like you're like he kind of throws the, the the known logic out the window, you know? Right. Like, I mean, most foxes just can't do that. Right. Like not at not at the at the speed um, and uh, I guess reliability that 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 S Hop does. Like he's gonna go for it and he's gonna hit it most of the time. A lot of other foxes, you know, they might need to like do a ledge refresh or something. Yeah, Eddie is playing scared out of the corner. Like so many just like doesn't want to do advancing aerial, doesn't want to wave dash in, just mm -hmm. kind of knows he's going to get his ship pushed in if he runs towards s -Fop, Yeah, he's s -Fop's just playing at really, uh, really good ranges, catching him on the way in, waiting out okay. the, uh, the air dodge right there. I don't think Eddie got that back. Yeah, almost I think he does touched. it. He did touch. I, I guess it doesn't matter if you misfire anyway, but yeah, whatever. Oh, could have been an error or something. There it is. Yeah, jab back air. That's up a clean percent right now. Rolls into the down beast. That's not great. Whoa. Yeah. Scary stuff okay. happening. Eddie could equalize. Yep. Fireball just resets position, so you still have to 50-50 if he's going high or low. But yeah, that down tilt or not down tilt. Uh, the downward forward tilt towards the ledge is, is actually really... We've seen Eddie go for that a bunch, and even against Ultra, he was kind of missing it. It's really precise. Com Master used to complain about how hard that is to do with Luigi. In contrast to, like, some other characters like Pikachu, where it feels kind of free. Yeah. Ooh, didn't want to let the uh, uppy rip there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like before, right? Eddie, Eddie does not want to, like hard commit towards center so he's just waiting until he finds like one confirm and then that allows him to go take more stage mm -hmm. oh and eddie not reacting right there oh, oh that could have been a punish from s -Fob. up smash okay down smash um down smash actually he's probably dead yeah works. yeah what the i'm shocked eddie went for down b before side b that actually might have even been like a mistake or something because like once you do that down b you're kind of pwned right like Think about it, like where he was in the startup of that that side B, like when he did the down B, he had more height, so he could have like side B and charged it a little bit. But when he did the down B, like 
he needed a, a misfire, I feel like, to recover. And if you don't get the misfire, I think you're just dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which is exactly what happened. So, you know, that's kind of tough. Very close uh, for our game one overall. Very close. Yeah, agreed. Very close, but, you know, that being said, I do feel like... Um, like Asfop was kind of, Asfop sort of had it. Like he was always he definitely understood the matchup very well. He knew what he needed to do here. But... He was always in the driver's seat. Yeah, this is going to be the big test here. Yeah, FD's uh, tougher. At the same time, I don't know. I've never been, um, you know, this isn't one of those matchups where it's particularly bad. Like I used to, mm -hmm. I used to be pretty happy fighting Luigi's here. One of my stream tournament matches. I remember I beat I beat Blade Jalo on the stage. Uh, oh, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, my whole logic is like you know, it's not a <sighs> like Luigi does hit harder, but I also feel like Fox hits Luigi harder. Here. Yeah. You know, it's it's really easy to get those like nair 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 up smash, like lol you're at seventy. You know, it's like not that hard to get those. I feel like there's there's almost like soft Marth logic to an extent where it's like if I get you in the air you're gonna have a really bad time. Yeah, you're gonna have a stage. really bad time. Like not not and it's not that bad on like the platform stage. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah, it's not so clear cut. Like I guess what I'm saying is this is the kind of counter pick where if Eddie doesn't win here and, and it's looking kind of rough, like I might even consider just going somewhere else. Holy yeah. Shit. Unbelievable to even get a shield grab after five shines. By the way. I don't even know <laughs> how that worked. It's brave. Maybe it's Eddie cool. got pushed out of the range of. Uh... Oh my! As Bob did shine. Oh, he set up Duraki too. He's mm -hmm. just he's going insane. Find a new counter pick for this. Let's go. Okay. One forty. Just taking a yeah. ton of damage right here. Really, really safe discipline play from Aspab while also being yeah. incredibly swaggy at the same time. You know, the more I... I mean, I don't play this matchup a ton, but I do feel like the more I learn about Luigi and the more I, like, watch even the matchup, like, the more I think Luigi's recovery really is quite bad. <laughs> it's not great. It's definitely not great. And S-Swap is, uh, yeah, he's just rinsing and repeating. Um, oh, no, that hurts. No. That probably would have killed. It's salt in the wound, man. Come on. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, down air. Okay, yeah, you can just roll up right there, but yeah, we're in a pretty tough spot right now. Yeah, and you got to spend jumps so you don't die to up smash. You get hit off stage mm -hmm. instead. That is a rough position. S-Swap looks locked in. Yeah, rough way to go out. Well, we're uh, we're two zero now for for uh, for for SFOP, and I feel like it's it's the, you know. I don't know. Game one, he was in the driver's seat, didn't really let it slip, played well, um, you know. But it was a little bit close. Came down to last talk. Game two, uh, not close, right? Like I feel like SFOP is firmly, firmly just in control right now. On the counter pick too, yeah. That's on the be, counter pick, you gotta reevaluate now, dude. That is so oh, tough. Run it back. Okay, I mean, you know, I do feel like, uh, I feel like Eddie thought about it, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like Eddie uh, just felt like he gave it a little bit of a, a moment, and then kind of decided, you know what? I don't really have anything better. I gotta do it. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that was the big thing. The first sequence, he will find stock off of that. And it's like, you have to get kills off of off of the grabs here. That's yeah. why you pick it. Yeah, you don't. It's kind of a non-negotiable. You just need to, you know, if you're if you're going here, you got to hit really, really hard. You got to get your openings, and then you got to take them to the bank. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that was wow. disaster defense there. Eddie wanted, uh, I think, just CC hold down. What's going on? I think he wanted down B. Yeah. Here, but, you know. Yeah, I think so. Wow, that almost was a punish there on that uh, that down smash on shield. Yeah, Eswap is really playing confidently out of his shield. Like, oh, no jump right now. Okay, yeah, Eddie's going to be able to recover. That side B, we haven't seen too much of that yet, but yeah, that is the Eswap special. That is going to be a... No, it's oh, not. but not a kill. Ooh. Something you can actually do there is you can up B that, but it's extremely difficult. 
And right. he's been practicing that, but it's 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 very unreliable if you're not like literally task mode. Oh my gosh, yeah, as Fop is just so threatening with not without doing anything there. It's just all that based on stage positioning. Yeah. I mean S Fop is playing this super duper well, knowing the exact kind of range to be able to go off stage there and get that back air. Double jumping over the down B. Oh, that's a big opening. It baits out that down air. Oh, s Wait, no. What? You're going to be able to recover. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't low enough. He actually wasn't low enough to not have a mix-up. Yeah. Like, he could have gone straight up or do that, that wall, wall right angle right there. So, look for a shine Ooh. on the stage. Shine reversing was very helpful for Eddie until it might not be because he's still in edge guard position. Okay, SVOP presenting, uh, yeah, lethal here for fourth place. Yeah, I mean, SVOP is just on fire. Oh, that's a huge up smash. No, Great weights no, on these. No, oh, my God. Every no, single like... downer is just getting baited out. You know, I feel like for Eddie, like, I don't know if that's like a little bit of panic or something. Like, I feel like if that was, um, you know, like we saw a lot of really tricky, you know, using down B to, to, to kind of mix up the the landing against yes. Ultra, <clears throat> but um, just kind of kept going for the same old downer against SVOP and SVOP just like was like waiting it out and punishing it. Um, I feel like at a certain point, Eddie had to mix it up and Eddie actually just wasn't mixing it up. And, and SVOP just had that perfect mm -hmm. timing. Calling the bluff, Toph. Call the bluff, yeah, call the bluff. And yeah, I mean, to me, yeah, just really convincing. Like SVOP played the matchup extremely well um gotta kill at 89 with that up here that's just absurd like yeah. a perfect percent for up tilt up here you d you don't see upward kills that that low that often because you know there's no up throw up here right you have to get a little bit more creative mm -hmm. so this presents an interesting uh conundrum mm. for the remaining three players at gallant melee open 